for Jao Marrera. He's round the goalkeeper and he scores! Chasing the sixth title in a row, Auckland City are taking the favourite stag into the semi-final showdown with Tefana. The Navy Blues have produced similar three matches on their way to topping Group A. Their patient, possession-based approach helps to tire their opponents before they punch in the later stages of the game where more often than not, they secure the win. Coach Raymond Tribelex is promising much the same from his side for the semi-finals. Tefana had to endure an anxious wait before being confirmed as the best runners-up from the group stages. After finishing behind Magenta in Group C, the Tahitian side had to rely on other results to go their way. Sebastian Lebayan's men were disappointing against AS Magenta, but showed plenty of firepower to trust Samoan outfit Kiwi 7-0. Oh, what a goal! A superb that win proved crucial to the side's progression to the semis, ahead of Hekar United and Amical thanks to their superior goal difference. On Wednesday's other semi-final, Team Wellington will be hoping to build on their last Group B performance against Hekar United. The New Zealand champions opening two group matches had been somewhat unconvincing. Following a lackluster two-win over Suva, Matt Calcott's men were made to work hard to edge past New Caledonia's A.S. Lossi with a nervy 2-1 win. However, they seem to have found form in their top-of-the-table Group A decider against Hikari to record an impressive 4 0 win over the 2010 champions. Oh, and Corrales! Team Magenta will go into the match against Team Wellington with the hopes of reaching the OFC Champions League final for the first time in 10 years. The New Caledonians look impressive in all three of their group matches to ease past Nandi, Kiwi and Tefana. Moe's inside are determined to carry on their winning ways, but the coach admits Team Wellington will pose a stand test. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.